Making someone's work to their cancer presents a whole range of challenges and we're still trying to get better at that. The first challenge is the long time gap between a particular exposure and a cancer diagnosis. The second one is the change in things that we use, the formulation of things like hair dyes, paint, glues. So pinning the, down a precise chemical cause to a cancer in that environment remains more difficult. My name's Wayne Higgs, I'm here to try and raise some awareness with workplace and rare cancers. I was diagnosed with rare cancer in 2014, it's been a struggle since then. It was the biggest shock in the world because I never thought that I'd ever get cancer. I started my apprenticeship when I was 14 years old, finished it when I was 18, spent most of my life as a motor trimmer upholsterer, mostly doing work on motor vehicles and boats. I used to think it was funny because you'd walk up and deck, you'd be high as a kite from the toilet. So nobody worried about it. There wasn't a thought that, you know, that it might be a danger of these days and, you know, telling you that the product might be dangerous or that you have to wear a breathing mask or that you have to do this or that. So it was just accepted that you got in there and you did the job. If I had have known then what I know now about different products, about these things could be carcinogenic, it would have been totally different. I would have been wearing masks, I would have been wearing protective gear. I would have been telling other people about it and people that worked for me. My cancer's terminal, there's nothing they can do about that. And it's been caused by a job that I love. Might be too late for something for me, but hopefully I can help somebody else and help spread the word with that because the word's got to get out there that there is a, is a problem with it. So frustratingly, in Wayne's case, while it's entirely understandable that he believes his work caused his cancer, being able to actually definitively prove that remains a challenge.